Hello everyone! We have here another recorded video lecture covering the topic Creating Your Own Class in Java. And these are the following subtopics to be implemented in the coding demonstration. Applying first, how to declare attributes. Second, how to define methods such as mutator and accessor methods. Third, how to declare an instance of the class. And lastly, how to access members of the class. So now, let's begin with our coding demonstration. So ito yung gagawin natin in defining our own class. So the problem is, the program should compute for the sum of two numbers. And these are the requirements that we need to accomplish. As you will notice, mag-recreate tayo ng two separate classes. One class for our attributes and behaviors, and the other one is the Java application class, wherein dito natin i-declare yung ating main method and responsible in instantiating the first class that we had created and accessing the method members of it. So we can program or code this in two ways. So it's either itong two classes na ito ay ilalagay natin sa iisang file or pwedeng separate files. So in doing that, if in case ang gagawin natin is two separate files, so dapat nakasave lang siya sa iisang location or sa iisang project. So in doing that, we have to create first our own project. So click on file, then new project, or just the keyboard shortcut, control shift n Then select for Java and Java application. Then the name of the project, sum of two numbers, example. Then click finish. And then sa project na tab, nandito na yung ating na-create na project. And now, let's create for our new file. So, hanapin natin kung saan project natin siya ilalagay. Click Java. And then, empty Java file. Then, click Next. Then, the class name. So, pangalan natin as sum. Then, click Finish. So, in creating for a class, hindi mawawala yung ating class declaration. So, we have public class sum. declaration of our attributes. So, kung titignan natin dito sa problem, ang attributes natin ay yung two numbers. So, in declaring that, we should need our access modifier. So, ang gagamitin natin is private because this means that the variables are only accessible within this class. So, magkakaroon din ng tinatawag na data encapsulation or data hiding. Data type, so, integer, kaya int yung gagamitin natin, and two identifiers, example x and y. Next, we have the declaration of our mutator or setter methods. So, it is used to write or change of our class variables. So, magkakaroon dito ng passing of values. So, manggagaling yun doon sa declare nating attributes. So, in declaring that, we have the keyword public or the access modifier public followed by our return type which is void and then the name of the method. So usually, pag mutator, nag start with the keyword set and then the function. So maglalagay tayo ng number kaya ang gagamitin na lang natin is set numbers. So this is an example of void method with parameter magpapas tayo dyan ng value ng two numbers. So, we need parameters here. Kaya, ang magiging format is we have the data type followed by a certain identifier. For example, num1, num2. Then, we'll have the initialization of your x which is now your num1 and y which is your num2. So, this is the end of set numbers. Now, let's proceed to the accessor or getter method. So, it is used to read values from our class or variables. So, ang function ng accessor method is dito tayo nagpe-perform ng 
operations and calculations. So in this example, dito natin ilalagay yung computation for our sum. So in doing that, we have the access modifier public followed by the return type. So it always returns a value. So sa ating method body mamaya dito, dapat mayroong return statement. So if we will analyze, ang ire-return natin is the sum of those two numbers and ang data type ng sum is int. So therefore, ang magiging return type natin is int. And then the method name, so usually it starts with the keyword get followed by its functions. So example sum. So in this example, uh, there is no parameter. And then in the method body, dyan na natin ilalagay yung operation. So the operation is we will compute for the sum, which is x and y. So x plus y. Since ang return type natin ay int or ang return type natin ay hindi void, therefore, ang ating method body should have its return statement. So, lagyan natin ng return keyword yung ating operation. So, ire-return niya yung magiging result ng x plus y. So, this is the end of get sum. So, we are through with the first class. Now, let's proceed to the second class, which is the Java application class. So, now, let's create for another file. Then, iselect natin yung project kung saan natin sinave yung naunang class na create natin. Then, click Java. Then, empty Java file. Then, click Next. Then, the class name. Um, Java application class to. So, we'll name it Java app sum. And then, click finish. So, we have the class declaration. Public class. Java app sum. Next is the declaration of the main method. Next, let's declare an instance of the class. So, ang ginawa natin class kanina is sum. So, we have sum space, our reference. So, any identifier will do as long as it is not a Java keyword. Say, for instance, s equal sign, the new operator, and then the constructor. So, for the meantime, ang gagamitin natin is an empty constructor. That is how are we going to declare an instance of class sum. Then, ang gagawin natin after declaring an instance of class sum is kukunin na natin or ya-access natin yung mga method members niya. We have set numbers and get sum. So, in doing that, we will use our instance or our reference which is s. s dot the method name or the method member set numbers. So, kung papansinin ninyo na detect na nung program na si S, which is class sum, ay mayroong method na set numbers. At nakalagay din doon na kailangan ng two parameters that will hold for two numbers. So, set numbers so, na-detect na niya na kailangan ng dalawang integer value. So, for instance, 5 and 6. And then, i-access naman na natin yung ating get sum. Wherein, i-re-return niya yung sum ng dalawang numbers. By the way, our get sum has a return statement. Therefore, dito tayo mag-display. So, system.out.println, the sum is, append natin using the reference s dot get sum. So, ang mangyayari, if we will try to analyze this one, 5 and 6, mapupunta kay num1 and num2, and then your x now is 5, your y now is 6, and then, pe-perform yung get sum, we're in 5 plus 6, is 11, wherein dito na rin siya a-display. 
So, kung i-compile natin yung ating program, so the sum is 11. By the way, hindi tayo dapat mag-compile doon sa unang class na create natin. Kasi, hahanapin niya yung main method. Kaya dapat, kapag mag-compile tayo, doon dapat tayo sa kung saan nandoon yung ating main method. So, what if gagawin na lang natin itong iisang file? Yes, it is possible. So, paano? We'll just copy this one, yung unang class na create natin. Ilagay natin dito sa after ng declaration ng Java application class natin. And then, we'll just remove the access modifier public sa class declaration ng sum. Kasi ang dapat na nakadeclare lang na public is kung nasaan yung ating main method, which is si Java app sum. And at the same time, yun rin yung name ng ating file. So, kung iraran ulit natin ito, still, the sum is 11. Same result doon sa nauna kanina na separate. So, this is an example of programs in defining your own class. Thank you and I'll be uploading more example programs in Java. Have a wonderful day to everyone.